What's going on everybody, it's t Pinnell. Welcome back to t Pinnell Auto. Today we have a different type of video and a different type of vehicle. So I'm gonna let y'all know, it's gonna be more than just the Bronco on this channel sometimes. I'm gonna be reviewing some cars. It's gonna be a plethora of things. I'm here with my homeboy, Wes. Let him know what we're doing today to your Tesla. All right guys, today we're gonna be installing these Nestor LED strip lights in the car. It's gonna give it this more luxury Mercedes feel. Lights going around the back of the seat. So it's gonna be in the front and the back? Yeah, the front and the back. Okay. It actually syncs up with your music so you can have a little party, you know, okay. after the party. All right. So almost like the strip lights that people put in their homes, like when the music player to move to the beat. Yeah. You can control the brightness? Yes. Are they paying you for this? No. Okay, I understand. But if you would like to have a product and would like to pay for some product placement, link in the description for my email. All right, let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> Smash that like button. All right, so in the box you get 3M liner, which is gonna be very sturdy. And then you got some tools, um, the booklet with the instructions. You need me to read that for you? <laughs> I'm just checking. All the wires and then, oh, it comes with the- Like a center console holder. Oh, okay. Like organizer. Oh, okay. A center console organizer. Right. So the lights will come to the sides and then illuminate. So yeah. Let's see how this goes, guys. All right. First thing we're gonna do is take the pipe, line it up um, with the dashboard. Some people like put it on the um, the AC vent, but I should just not so it doesn't mess with the air streams. I prefer to put it right here above the. So you're gonna panel. put it below it because you don't want to put it to block the air stream. Yeah, basically. Yes, all right. Yeah. All right. Hold on. So let me get it, let me get this in. Boom! Right here, right? Yeah. So all the way, all the way, all the way. All, like, all the way. Yeah, make sure it's touching the edge. Just measure it out. You're not Boom. putting it on right now. You're just measuring it out. Get a little measure out. When you get to the edge, you're gonna measure at least like eight inches out and then cut it. It's gonna go. It's right. already lighting up. Why is it already lighting up? It look like. Am I tripping? <laughs> no. Because nah, nah, because it's like bluish. Yeah, it looks like okay, that. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm gonna let you cut it just in case you mess it up. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Who's it? You nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. Uh, you sure? Yeah. You sure you sure? <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, let me get you, man. Hey, that, see, I appreciate wow. it. Yeah. Come on, man. You Damn. Ain't cut before? I haven't cut nothing in a minute. Oh my goodness, I bro. Since second grade. After you're done um, with the dashboard, make sure you measure out the panel. So. Put it between the plastic part and the leather. I'll say like up to here. And just keep going like this. We're just gonna measure out all the pieces and then we're gonna go back around with the 3M tape. Yep, I don't think this one you don't need the 3M tape. Okay. But yeah, once you get to the um the curve, it starts getting a little tight and a little snug, so you gotta force it in there a little bit. Pause. <laughs> so yeah, when you get right into the corners, I suggest like you just lift up right here. It will work. Just make sure you lift up and then then put this piece in and it'll start snugging in the corners finally wrapped around here and got this part snugged yeah. in he's gonna finish it off the home stretch right now yeah. um make sure you get your thumb work out i suggest maybe get on the video games make sure you got strong thumbs prior and get things rolling so what'd you get here i said like just probably two inches or so cut it you know what you're doing you got it yeah i got it you know is that two inches that look like an inch From where though <laughs> right here yeah all right snip snip all right Got my mark so I can just go. Whoop. There you go. All right. Good job. Thanks. So, yeah, right now we're just measuring, and after we're going to put the 3M tape. I mean, Hold on, we got a plane coming. Right. Gotta love. Where is it? Where are you? Gotta love her. Oh, that's a private jet. So, yeah, remember, we're just we're just measuring out this. So, once, once we measure the one, we could just hold it up to the other one, and that'd be the same measure, right? Yep, pretty much. Yeah, yeah just look at that, guys. Saving time. Look at that. I kind of like somebody else doing all the manual labor, and then I'm kind of like talking and stuff. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just come out <laughs> more often. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Line her down. Boom. You sure? Yep. All right, so before you start, make sure you clean the surface inside there. Get cranny. all the dust and everything. Yeah. Some people go with the alcohol as well, but you know, we got to get her down. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put the 3M tape down on something that's dusty, crusty, musty. So we're doing that. This is me doing a little bit of work as well, because I know y'all going to talk in the comment section. I'm like, you didn't do anything. <laughs> this is me doing something. Yeah, so after you're done putting on the M3 tape, make sure you take off the edge and then apply it slowly on the, on the wooden panel. He, yeah. he letting me do this part, guys. Yeah. Probably not the smartest thing, but hey, hey here wait, goes wait, wait, why, why you got all <laughs> no, that? No, I'm joking, I'm joking. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right. So make sure you have it close as possible to the edge and then apply it as you go. Make sure you turn on the heat so the 3M could actually stick to it real uh -huh. good. Oh, that was gonna suck when I put in my, my holder, my phone holder. Hey, it goes on there? Yeah, it slides. Once upon a time, is it? When you I, really got the heater on. I can, I can feel it. Yeah. Are you ready to take over? I'm surprised. <laughs> you done this before? Mm mm. No. Nah. It's like you're natural. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Let me get to here. Press it all down. Press it all down. I suggest using this. 
job. Good job, man. Let me, let me go give you the real. The All right, so we're going to pop this side piece off, and then you're going to take the circle part and insert it right in. It actually has like a little screw on the end, so actually insert it. You can tighten it up so it doesn't slip off. It's really easy. And then after that, uh, you feed this cord down here, and then just tuck it away and pop that piece right back on. All right, so when so next is the back seat. Back seat action, guys. All right, when you're doing this, make sure you line the edge. Hold on, let me hit him. I'm gonna hit him with a double cam on this one. When you're lining up, make sure it's like close to the edge because this is where you're gonna be feeding all your wires into the center console. So I'll say like, I'll say this much. And okay. Remember, and remember, do not put the like I did and then put the um 3M all the way to the end. Make so sure, leave what about an inch? Yeah, inch. Yeah, inch would be okay. And then I'll say line it up first. So you can see, because it will go, like it can go deeper than, right. than intended. So Let's go ahead, push it all the way through again and show them how. Yeah, so right, like so. So okay. it will all the way go through. Yeah. So make sure you line it up first so you can see where you need to. Then then you're going to take out the 3M tape as you go, and you'll, you'll, you'll get a gist of what to do. See, yeah, because I already. You're a little too deep right there. Yeah, see, You're too deep. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> nah, but it'll be easier with the 3M tape because uh, it'll stick. Yeah. So you won't just be able see? to shove oh, yeah. it down there. See, I just did it again. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. That'd be delicate, man. Yeah, you know. I gotta start in, in in this side. No, you gotta start on that side. Nah, cause look, the wiring gonna come from here, so you need the extra right here to run it, run it. So we, you see what I'm saying? So we were, yeah. You smart, right? <laughs> hey, you went to college? <laughs> ah, a couple days. I'm yeah. like a couple days. I dropped out. <laughs> went to orientation. I, I dropped out. You, know? you get close on it. Yeah. I don't know why. We don't need to buy thousand dollar cameras no more. Just get, just get an iPhone. Thirteen, fourteen. Uh, all it is the audio. Um, then this mic I'm using right now. You can use the iPhone. Get inside and do the inside. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get in there. Almost lift the piece up, right? Mm -hmm. Like this back cushion piece. Yeah. And then apply it with your own hands and press it down. See, I didn't do that. Your shit might be better than mine. Damn. Here. Yo, everything professional. Everybody close this so professional and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong you, with you? You could be a hand model. <laughs> hey, yo, chill out, man. We did the seats and aligned everything. You can take a look over here. Um, we fed it through inside the port where the light comes out and that's how all the kill measurement we're gonna clean that up and yeah. uh, they, it came with zip ties so we're gonna get that together yeah i'll say right here right here for this one you can let this be a little longer like i'll say like another four. two inches yeah, yeah, two yeah, inches. yeah like that way all this would slide down there mm -hmm. um now we're just gonna install the uh, underneath lights so it comes with four there's gonna be two long ones and two shorter ones the longer ones are gonna go underneath the passenger side and the driver's side yeah, the and long the ones for the front of the car yeah the shorter ones are for the back we have the shorter ones right here on the floor make sure you just put the adhesive behind it and stick it on there we'll show you the placement what's more what looks more um, optimal all right appreciate y'all tuning in um i know you put lights in the vehicle what's the point of putting lights in the vehicle if you're not gonna see it at night so we're gonna drop that right now So comment below, tell me what you think. Link in the description for this product. Where you get this from? Amazon. Got it off of Amazon. There's two versions of these. One that doesn't come with the, the back seat lighting. It just comes with the center console and the- The lighting back. up under the front and the, the back seat? Yep. Okay. That's it. So if you want, I, I would prefer, I like the one with the back seat. Yeah, yeah. I think it looks, it looks amazing at nighttime. Especially with the moon roof, it looks amazing. Not as good as the Bronco, but um, it's, it's a Tesla, so. Yeah. You know, for all those electric people out there. Saving, <laughs> saving the world. Appreciate y'all watching another video. Smash the like button. What's up? Let's ask some, uh, what, what should we do next? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do y'all want to do next? Yeah. To either car, the Tesla or the Bronco. Yeah. Let us know. Whatever you want, hey. Or we'll knock it out. Yeah, I was saying, because if they say put some 
hollow black wheels on Put that some bitch. some 30s on them.